Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You. Today you join me at Oaks and uh, at the moment I'm just going to do something a little bit about what people are asking me and something that just needs going through. So what I'm just going to do, quickly going to talk about pole setup, how I go about setting myself up. Um, I think maybe the question is because I'm left handed uh, to feed the pole back through my left. Um, it's maybe that's why I get asked quite a lot so we'll flip the camera most of this I'll be on the other side of the camera uh, talking behind and I'll just do a very quick run through of how I set my, my stuff. Right guys so starting at the back as you can see I have a Maver roller twin roller uh, so I have a dual uh, sides on it so I can run it full back it's not actually in action today that's why it looks not in line with um, the setup so if I was gonna do bit more in line we move it slightly more to this side and then it'll be a bit more in line what you want to do when you're rolling your polar rollers back you're going to nine times out of your ten you're going to come on an angle um away from you if you come straight behind you that's when you usually bang into stuff so as you can see they're slightly set to the left of the center of the box because that's where i'm going to roll across so moving down from there we can see we have the other uh, smaller roller again a twin um, and that's again for breaking down into two sets of sections and makes it easier just to ship back um, I've got my landing net to the right of that as I'm fishing the pole like I said I net with my right hand and I use my left hand obviously to ship the pole back so as you can see, it's looking quite bare today because we're fishing for eyes, so it's really just maggots and nothing else. Um, you can see on this left hand side where I'm zooming in, I used to have a dual pole uh, sock, which was all right, but when I went to the split rollers, that, I felt it was it was a bit difficult. It, it, there didn't seem to be, the split made it too wide and it was sort of pulling on it to, to put them both into the same sock. So I went with a different ripple bar and it's a quick release Preston one. And I've got two socks in there. A bigger one for obviously the thicker sections and the thinner one to accommodate the uh, the number three um, so moving on from that we'll zoom back out and as you can see I have a little tray behind there's nothing on it today it's just been having my phone and bits and bobs on um, normally I would have stuff on there baits and towels and whatnot the reason I've got my towel where it is there is because I am um, the unhook in the eye yeah, covered in crap so I'm going to uh, just go across here and show you. So I have uh, underneath here I have a little rest where I put my uh, um, landing net, uh, head on and handle and makes it nice and easy to get to. I obviously have my, my hooded side tray which is really easy access to, uh, to get into everything and I have a kit safe coming which is what I would put my top kits on. Obviously, I'm only fishing with one today, so it doesn't really matter. And I don't have a feeding by hand, so I don't need any um, pots. But I have got a quick release mechanism just down here, and that would fit in where my roost goes onto, just there. Uh, so then I would be able to easily access my top kits. But if you've noticed that the main thing about the setup is. And even with the other setup I had before or any other, it's very clean. Stuff's straight to hand. We're not rattling about for anything. You can see the pole really easy to get to. Um, if I wanted to move it across to the other side, um, I can do that to get in and out. Um, and obviously when it splits into two, it's easily accessible as well. So, uh, yeah, let's flip back and to me and we'll sign it off. Right guys, so just a really simple, quick run through. Uh, the main things is with your poles, um, sections and with stuff, it costs a lot of money, you don't want to fall over and break them. Just make things easy access, easy to get to, put them in, in places that make sense, get all your other stuff out of the way and just have everything else to hand. That way you're not climbing on and off your box and risking standing or breaking anything and it's just easier for you to get to fish. So hopefully that's... Uh, helped you out and it's just reversible if you're fishing on the right hand side which as most of you are and um, then you just reverse this setup <laughs> to, uh, to you know accommodate that but um thanks as always join us on the facebook group at angling for you 
Join us on the Instagram at angling underscore for you. Like and subscribe, guys. Thanks a lot. Tight lines. Thank you.